F1 2011 is a video game developed by Codemasters based on the 2011 Formula One season. The game was released in September 2011 on the Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 platforms, November 2011 on the Nintendo 3DS and February 2012 on the PlayStation Vita. It has sold 3.5 million units worldwide. The game engine is based on the new Ego 2.0 engine, and an officially titled evolution of the Ego 1.5 engine that was created specially for the title. Topic. Details All 12 teams and 24 drivers that started the 2011 season are featured in the game, though mid-season driver changes did not take place due to licensing restrictions. The entire calendar of 19 circuits from the 2011 season is present, including the new Bud International Circuit in India. Certain circuits also feature day-to-night transitions. At E3, Codemasters announced that the focus of F1 2011 is to be the driver, live the life, go compete, and that multiplayer aspects of the game are being emphasized as a part of this. Online multiplayer have a maximum of 16 players in a race with the option to include an additional 8 AI-controlled cars. Objectives are also included in multiplayer. A split-screen multiplayer mode is implemented, as is an online cooperative championship. In August 2011, Codemasters announced that the safety car would be implemented in the game following its absence in F1 2010, and that it would be available in races that are 20% of real race distance or longer. Red flags are also included for situations where the safety car cannot get around the track, but not for extreme weather conditions. Rule changes for the 2011 season, including Kurs, DRS and Pirelli tires are also featured in the game. Features Features of the game include a career mode in which the player makes a driver and simulates the driving experience. Another mode is the Grand Prix in which one picks a professional driver and create a Formula One season. There is also a Proving Grounds mode in which is a time trial to compete against other players around the world. There is also a multiplayer option in which one can race with other players in a variety of gaming modes. Topic: Reception. The PC, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions received favorable reviews, while the Vita and 3DS versions received mixed or average reviews. According to the review aggregation website Metacritic, early critical response was positive, with reviews praised improvements in handling and AI and the way new rule changes, in particular KERS and DRS, added an additional layer of strategy to the game. IGN remarked that the differences in using these features helped separate qualifying and racing into two separate gameplay modes. In Japan, where the game was ported for PS3 and Xbox 360 on the 6th of October 2011, for PC on the following day, for Vita on the 17th of December 2011, and for 3DS on the 22nd of December 2011, Famitsu gave the game a score of 19817 and 18 for the first two console versions, and 1827s and 16 for the final two handheld versions. The Guardian gave the Xbox 360 version a score of 4 stars out of 5 and said it was pretty much an essential purchase for any self-respecting petrol head, and a lot more compelling and enticing than those who don't dream about lap times might imagine." The Daily Telegraph similarly gave the same console version four stars out of five, saying that, "...codemasters have made a plethora of improvements under the bonnet, polishing an engine that should prove a fantastic basis for the planned yearly iterations of their F1 franchise." The Digital Fix gave the PS3 version a score of 8 out of 10, calling it a great racer but only a nearly great game. Digital Spy gave said PS3 version a similar score of 4 stars out of 5, saying that it's not a wholesale reinvention, but rather a confident leap forward from a publisher in tune with its sport. The career mode lacks a bit of personality, but it's still a good frame for what is most important, the racing. The website also gave the Vita version three stars out of five and called it a laudable attempt at scaling down a sophisticated simulation racer for a handheld platform, but it would have benefited from stronger AI and more challenge. 
In its defense, it caters well for newcomers due to its casual challenges mode and forgiving level of difficulty, but still falls marginally short of expectations. However, the same website also gave the 3DS version two stars out of five and said, Sumo Digital should be commended for its attempts to pack as much as humanely possible into a Nintendo 3DS game. However, despite its wealth of options, game modes and extras, F1 2011 fails where it counts most, on the racetrack. See also Ambisonics, the audio technology used